CAA and 76th Air Assault Division withdrew from positions northwest of Kiev into Belarus to restore combat capabilities and possible redeployment to other axes of advance. So that's uh, a claim that is being made by the Ukrainian side that Russian troops are moving from Kiev to Belarus. Crispino joins us once again. Crispino, as I was pointing out, the Russian negotiators during the sixth round of talks very confidently put out the fact that they're going to be withdrawing their military activity in areas like Kiev and Chernihiv, something that Ukrainians denied on ground. Whether or not this kind of a movement is a part of that withdrawal or its simple repositioning remains to be seen. Absolutely, as you rightly pointed out, that repositioning of Ukrainian uh, or by, of Russian troops is being seen at this point of time by the Ukraine general staff. What they are saying is that uh, you know Russian troops are repositioning themselves. They're going to uh, Belarus and probably they will strike other areas, and Russia is going to deploy them to other areas in Ukraine. Now, important to point out here is are the, the kind of troops that are being repositioned. We're looking at the 35th Combined Arms Army, the 36th CAA, and the 76th Air. Assault Division. They have been withdrawn from positions in northwest of Kiev into Belarus to restore combat capabilities and possible redeployment to other axes to advance. Now we had looked, we had seen in the past few days how, the, how Russia has failed to capture Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. Right now we're looking at troops uh, going to Belarus at this point of time, and we had also seen very closely Belarus's role in the entire Russian invasion in Ukraine. Tracking for our viewers, all developments on day 37, as the Ukraine general military has said that possible repositioning of troops of Russia will take place. Yes, absolutely. We pick up more as far as what's happening in Ukraine is concerned, but also keeping our focus on uh, more that we're tracking from different parts of the war-torn nation on day 37. Coming up next, we take you through more details and videos that we're, get, we're picking up from Chernihiv and Mariupol as they continue to face the Russian attack. Also telling you more about how Ukraine has launched a counter-offensive in several parts, but this one being a big update strikes. Oil depot in Russia's Belgorod certainly drawing a lot of criticism from the Russian side, also saying that peace talks could be hampered as a result. Getting you more on the other side. As I was pointing out on your screens, details of the reaction that has come in from the Russian side. Remember, we've been focusing on this particular news update of how reports suggest, Russian reports suggest that an attack on an oil depot in Belgorod has taken place. This attack is coming from the Ukrainian troops and now Russia is saying that this is likely to hamper talks. Now we are being told that the next round of talks was to take place today, whether or not that will be delayed or we'll, we will be looking at some kind of postponement remains to be seen because uh, an angry Russian side now coming out and saying that the Ukrainian airstrikes on the fuel depot in Western Russia, in Belgorod, will hinder future peace talks. Already we've seen six rounds of talks take place between the two sides. As far as the sixth round is concerned, uh, the Russian side, of course, did hint at the possibility of both President Zelensky and Putin meeting directly. And positive outcome is what Russians indicated, although we did not see any breakthrough on ground. But now with this update coming in of an attack on Belgorod, Russian side now claiming that this could hinder future peace talks.